Twas the week before Christmas and all through the house. Not a present was wrapped because it haven't all been bought yet and the tree just went up yesterday. Still no decorations. Uh, it's really been a bah humbug kind of year so far and there's been a lot of factors to it. And I'm not going to go into all those because you've heard all the rants before. I have noticed it seems like this year people have been extra brain dead zombie-ish. And it really picked up right before uh, Halloween. And my mom and I were talking about this. Well, we talked quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit more than uh, probably either one of us really would like. But we were talking. It's like, you know, it's been a while that it seems like everyone's just turned into rude, inconsiderate, brain dead zombies. And it's like, yeah. It seems like right before Halloween it started getting really bad. Yeah. And we were telling stories about travels and everything else because we take about the same route to work because while we don't work we work in the same general vicinity not the same company or anything and so we have enough of a of a uh, same route to and from work that we can have a nice long conversation about our travels and it's like, I was telling this story one day, I was coming home, and this little Volkswagen Jetta was popping, you know, in the left lane, aka the passing lane, going about 50 into 55, and I started tr- trying to pass them, because five miles under the speed limit, and all of a sudden, they just floored it and started going 80, and sped up so they got to the car in front of me and slowed down to match their speed, and they kept doing this, it did this three or four times before I was finally able to get in front of them thanks to a red light in traffic. Probably one of the few times you'll ever hear someone think those things. But, and I, for the life of me, I can't understand why they would do something, someone would do something like that. Just to stay in the left lane, which you're not, and go, none of it makes sense. And the only thing I can think of is that people are so wrapped up in themselves, they can't understand what's going on around them. Red light, I'm safe. But, it happens. It's like when you point out, hey, you said something crappy to me, or you did something crappy to me, and they apologize because you feel like they did something crappy to you, not because they, they're they not apologizing, because you're pointing out the fact they did something crappy. That's I've had instances like that. Like, you make plans with someone, they don't show up, and you call them out because of the fact they didn't show up, didn't tell you anything, wouldn't answer respond back to any messages or anything when you try to contact them to see if they're okay you get nothing and you say you know that kind of makes me feel like crap that you're going that you do stuff like that and it's well I'm sorry I blew you off I'm sorry I stood you up I flaked on you they don't say that oh I'm sorry you feel that way and there's a lot of that going around anymore so yes when you're you know I grew up Christmas is supposed to be the season of giving and thinking of others and blah, blah, blah. Well, when you do something nice for people and it's not thank you for this gesture, but thank you for thinking of me, thank you for whatever, anything but acknowledging what you did and making you basically cow town to them, or you have people constantly treating you like crap and you point out and it's, oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. It's kind of hard to be in that mood to give. To care because why should you care? Why should you give to people who seemingly want to take? Who want to treat you like crap? And the thing is, it wears people down. And I'm not saying that we should. people should go around and, you know, just give of themselves blah all the time, but you should think more of who's around you, what's around you, and be more appreciative, if you will. And I, I know I get accused of, you don't, appre- you don't appreciate anything, blah, 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 and it's like, if I tell you thank you, what more can you, 
you know, if I thank you for, if you do something and I thank you, don't tell me I'm being inconsiderate of you because I thanked you for what you did. And I've, that happens a lot. Or if their way of trying to help you, you know, if they're trying to help you and they won't do what you're needing or wanting done, they just want to do their own thing and it messes stuff up, they get mad because you don't appreciate the fact that they mess things up and cost you more money, time, and everything else. And there's a lot of that that goes on anymore, and it seems to be getting worse. So if you're one of the few people who's out there listening Take this into consideration. Look at yourself. I know I need to, you know, I'm looking at myself and I know I need to uh, jerk a knot in my tail. Because I don't like a lot, of, a lot of the things I say and do. But the fact of the matter is, it can't be just one person doing it looking at what we say and what they say and do and trying to change and be better it takes everyone and you have to listen to people you have to be considered you can't just shove your head up your butt and do whatever you want and ignore everyone else and only be about you apparently but apparently that's the case anymore so that's my challenge to everyone spend some time re-examine you know look at what you say look at what you do what what you think what you believe and ask yourself if that's really what's right what's best and you know, I know everyone can't be perfect like me, haha. <laughs> but you're probably going to find areas where you can improve upon. I know I can. And don't just, and it can't just be a matter of reflecting on the things you say and do and believe to see if you can do better. But spend some time trying to find out if there's what actions you can take to better yourself, to improve yourself. That's my challenge. Try to better your, Try to make yourself, you know, better. A better... You know, whatever it is. Try to be better. Try to grow. Try to learn. Try to treat people like they matter. Because you may not realize it, But even me, as much as I try to act like people don't matter and their opinions don't matter, it does. There are people whose opinions matter to me a great deal. And the thing is, you never know when your opinion matters to someone more than you realize. That their opinions can literally be life or death. You never know. That... The impact the things you say and do, how much that can be have on someone. Just keep that in mind. I'm at the house. I've got a crap ton of stuff from the store, and because next weekend is Christmas, and the week after that is New Year's, and I don't want to get out if I don't have to. Anyway, later.